Michigan Tech and NMU face off in rival men's and women's basketball games Thursday night. This morning, Ansley Watson is at Michigan Tech to learn more about the big game. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. Yes, Thursday, NMU travels up to Houghton to play Michigan Tech in basketball. The women will kick off at 530 and the men will follow then at 730. Now, the last time these two teams met up, the Lady Hussies couldn't quite pull out a win. However, the men did walk away with the victory. Now, later in the hour, we will be speaking with both the men's and women's coaches to see what they're anticipating for Thursday's game. So stay with us. And remember, if you can't make it to that game, we will be airing those games on our sister station, Fox UP. Reporting live in Houghton, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Ansley. Looking forward to seeing how those two teams are gearing up. And of course, you know, later on, it's the hockey game. It's just a big week for both of these schools. Yeah. So the yeah. Michigan Tech Huskies hosting the NMU Wildcats Thursday night. This morning, Ansley Watson is with the men's head basketball coach telling us what they're expecting from this big game. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. Yes, come Thursday, this gym is going to be packed and loud and rowdy. Joining me this morning is the head basketball coach, Kevin Luke. Good morning. Good morning, Ansley. <laughs> you're so calm and collected. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, at my age, you, you're allowed to do that. We try to be calm. Good. I don't. I don't know if I'll be calm on Thursday, but it, it'll be. A, it'll be a great night. No kidding. So back in January, you met up with NMU, at NMU, beat them. I know that you said that game doesn't even really matter now, but let's just recap. What was it like to beat them there at home? Yeah, it doesn't matter. But uh, with that being said, it's always a rivalry game, and you have to prepare for a rivalry game. Northern Michigan is a is a good up and coming club. Uh, Coach Sal's done a nice job with that team. They're very young. Uh, they're energetic, they played hard, and, and uh, we were fortunate. We had a great second half, and uh, uh, we were, was lucky enough to come out with the win, and you know, we're looking forward to you know, Thursday night. It's going to be another very tough, grinded out, mm -hmm. uh, GLIAC conference game rivalry, so uh, it'll be fun. Is there anything in particular you guys have had to work on during practices? Well, I, you know, preparing for a rivalry game is a little bit different than, than any game because of the, the magnitude, and there's a lot at stake, not only because of the rivalry, you know, because the playoffs are coming up, you have to play, you mm -hmm. have to be sharp, you know, you have to uh, hone your systems, if you will. You know, we're, we're working on just trying to get a little bit better every day. And, and at this time of the year, it's tough because all the teams are tired. Everybody's got aches and pains. And, and uh, with that being said, I think the mental portion, we have to work on that quite a bit. And, uh, you know, just prepare for the, the, the good team that Northern is. Mm -hmm. Talk about the guys going into this game. Your leadership is strong on the team. How are they feeling about this? Yeah, you know what? We do have good leadership. Jordan Chartier does a great job. And, you know, for a freshman, uh, uh, Tommy Luca does a nice job uh, running our offense, getting our kids into plays, getting the basketball to our guys that can make plays. Uh, of course, we go as Kyle Monroe goes. And he's a, he's a, an exceptional player in this league. And Brian Heath is playing well. And another name that I have to add to the list, who's done a great great job getting uh, making himself become a, a good player in this league, is uh, AJ Grizzulis, and he's from Marquette. That's incredible. What are you looking forward to as a coach come Thursday night? Well, I you know it, it's it's some of the stuff we've talked about. You know, it's it's important that we, you know, prepare and 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 talk about the rival because that's first and foremost. And, mm -hmm. and you know, there's lots of years when when both of our teams have either been really really good or really really I don't want to say really really down, but uh, you know, where where records number one records those don't make a difference in this game. You you have to you have to. This is a special game. And you know they feel that way, and we feel that way. And to come into the into the gym, it's an opportunity. There's for for I think uh, Brandstrom's the only senior on Northern that's playing. We have six seniors. It'll mm -hmm. be the last time they ever get a chance to play. Mm -hmm. So those guys got to be ready. You know, I'm looking for them to to add to our portion. And and uh, you know with that being said, we uh, w there's a, there's a lot that we have to do over and above just the rivalry. Well, you guys play at 7:30. Come Thursday night. Now, if you can't make it to that game, we will be airing that on our sister station at Fox UP. So we'll have more about the women's uh, team later in the hour. So stay with us. Thanks, Coach, for being with us this thank morning. Thank you. Reporting live in Houghton, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Ansley. I noticed she was very careful to wear a neutral color. Rivalry week. You don't want to step into that. <laughs> yeah, good idea. We've reached the last game of the college basketball regular season where Michigan Tech hosts NMU Thursday. Ansley is back now at Michigan Tech to talk about the, what the Lady Huskies are looking forward to. Good morning, Ansley. 
And good morning, Andrew. That's right. Come at 5.30. You'll be able to watch the women Huskies play against NMU. Joining me now this morning is Kim Cameron, and she's the head coach for the women. Good morning. Good morning. So I know this is going to be a little painful to reflect <laughs> back on the last game against NMU. The ladies fought hard, didn't quite beat them, though. You're right, and it was um, it was a great game. Mm -hmm. I mean, Northern Michigan is doing a really, really good job. Um, their defense is extremely good. It's they're, they're one of the top teams in the league defensively. Um, they're tall. Their guards are really big. We had a tough time scoring, mm -hmm. but it was a it was a back and forth battle. Um, and now we're looking forward to playing on our home floor. And what are those, some of those strengths, other than being at home, what are some of those strengths that the women can bring to the floor? Well, I'm hoping that being at home helps us shoot a little better. Mm -hmm. we, didn't, we didn't shoot very well. Um, I thought we gave up um, some drives and some threes, and um, we have to be better defensively. I think we're at the point of the season now where we really need to start pulling things together, and we've seen pieces of that. We've put together a three-game stretch of that, um, but now this is we're at the last game of the regular season, and I think everybody understands that. Mm -hmm. um, it's time to put our foot down a little bit and protect our home floor. It seems like the, the ladies are getting, I don't want to say more serious because they've, they've been taking the season seriously, but it is coming to the end where it's like, okay, ladies, this is it. It is, and you're at the point where um, you don't get any second chances, mm -hmm. and so I think uh, everybody understands that, and we're, we're led by a senior who um, loves basketball, loves to play, loves her role on the team, um, and, and the rest of the team does not want her season to end. And let's talk more about Morgan Anderson. As she is a team leader, she just hit a thousand point marker there was it last week. Mm -hmm. So that's so exciting. How is she feeling about this game? She's really excited and she's been our leader throughout this entire year um, for that kid to get a thousand points, especially considering the teams that she's been on, um, is, is a real tribute to her. Mm -hmm. Really proud of her. Her teammates do a great job and she's like we go as she goes mm -hmm. and she's done a tremendous job leading this team this year and like I said I think um, everybody wants to play for her everybody wants her season to continue uh, she brings a lot to us and I think she's going to be really excited for this game Thursday. What do you hear from the ladies what, what are they anticipating for Thursday's game? I think they expect a battle um, I think they expect themselves to play better mm -hmm. I think um, if we play the way that we're capable of we give ourselves a really good chance and that's what we're expecting from ourselves is there anything else you'd like to say about the game come Thursday I think it's just gonna be a, a huge battle I think it's two great teams playing against each other um, they got the first one at home and we're looking to get this one absolutely well, coach thank you so much for thank being you. with us and if you can't catch those games 530 for the women and 730 for the men we will be airing those on our sister station Fox UP reporting live in Houghton Ansley Watson and we'll be back with more of your TV six morning news after the break.